Hello everyone, welcome to PM Networking. Today I am going to discuss a very important topic of CCNA and CCNP. DHCP Relay Agent. What is DHCP Relay Agent? Relay Agent is a host or a router that forward DHCP packets between DHCP clients and DHCP server in different subnet. As you know, DHCP works on DORA process, discover, offer, request and acknowledgement. Client machine discovers DHCP server with the help of discover message. All client machines who need IP address from the DHCP server always generate discover message and discover message is broadcast. When your DHCP server is in different subnet, in another subnet, in that case, you know broadcast message will not reach to DHCP server. For an example, see this scenario. When my client machines, DHCP client, PC1, PC2, PC3, these are DHCP clients. When these DHCP client machines are in different subnet from the DHCP server, in this scenario, for an example, this is my office and this office is in India and my DHCP server is in my data center somewhere, let's suppose in London, right, connected with ISP. In this case, if this client machine need IP address from the DHCP server, it can't discover DHCP server directly, right? Client machine will generate discover message, discover message is broadcast, it will send to switch, switch will send it to router. In this case, can router forward it to ISP? Go answer no. Why? Because router break broadcast domain, right? This interface is in different broadcast domain, this interface is in different broadcast domain. Proful, what is broadcast domain? Broadcast domain is a domain where broadcast message can be travel, right? So this is one broadcast domain, this is one broadcast domain, another broadcast domain, right? So both are different broadcast domain. Broadcast message of this domain cannot travel in this domain, correct? So client machine is going to generate discover message and router will be discarding it, right? It can't discover DHCP server. We don't have any DHCP server within the broadcast domain, within the subnet. In this case, DHCP relay agent comes in picture. Why? In this case, my router can be DHCP relay agent. It can act as a DHCP relay agent. Here you will run one command on this LAN interface IP DHCP relay agent. After that, this router which is acting as a relay agent will be forwarding DHCP packet like discover message between your client and DHCP server. Right now, when DHCP relay agent is not configured, in this case, this client machine cannot get IP address from the DHCP server. But if this router is acting as a relay agent, in that case, you know what will happen. Through relay agent, actually, you are going to tell to your router about DHCP server. What I told you, relay agent can be a host or a router. Right? So here you will say, who is DHCP server? On the router, I'm going to say, hey, router. IP DHCP helper address and the IP address of DHCP server. For an example, DHCP server IP address is 100.1.1.1. So I'm going to say IP DHCP helper address 100.1.1.1. Now this IP address should be reachable from router number one. From your relay agent to the DHCP server, reachability must be there. Then only it will work. In this case, now what will happen when your PC client machine generates discover message. It's sent to switch, switch sent to router and router is going to receive it over here. And this time relay agent feature is enabled. So what router will do, router will convert this broadcast discover message into unicast discover message. On the client machine, in the discover message, inside the discover message, there will be information like source address. Source address will be 0 .0 .0 .0, 0.0.0.0, unknown. Destination address, destination will be broadcast 255.255.255.255, 255 right, in the IP header, it will send to router. What router will do? Router will not change anything in discover message. Discover message is going to be same. In the IP header, from the broadcast address, it is going to add DHCP address, DHCP server address, right? So on the router, DHCP discover message is there. After that, source IP address will become router 1 IP address R1 and destination IP address will be DHCP server IP address 100.1.1.1. And now 
So router one is going to send it to ISP, ISP is going to send to this router, this router will send to switch, switch will send to router, sorry, this DSCP server. And whenever DSCP server receive discover message, it will generate what? Offer message. For whom DSCP server will generate offer message? For router, not for the client. Because DSCP server don't know anything about client. They know about relay agent, which is router number one. So DSCP server will generate offer message, right? In that offer message is going to offer IP address, and it will send to your relay and to router number one. And again, router one is going to convert this unicast message into broadcast and then it will send to client machine, PC number one. So in this case, DSCP relay agent feature here helps to communicate client machine and DSCP server when they are in different subnet. When DSCP server and client both are in same subnet, then DSCP relay agent is not required. But when DSCP client and server are in different subnet, then there must be relay agent. Then only client machine can get IP address. Thank you.